Hi, I'm Hester. I'm an artist specialising in printmaking and I live in the Yorkshire Dales. This is my studio. I specialise in collagraph printmaking and that needs a press. So this is my etching press that I've had for 25 years. And I have a little one here which I use for teaching workshops. I like my studio to be an inspiring space. So I have lots of objects that I found when I've been out running. Um, I've got bits of bone, eggshells, they're all natural objects and I find that they remind me of the things that I've seen and will often inspire a new piece of work. Most of my printmaking is inspired by the natural landscape and the wildlife I see when I'm out walking or running. There's lots of different stages to printmaking, so there's a the sketching for the design work um, and then there's the making of the plates and then the printing of them and I do all of that in the studio. There's different areas for different things. Over here is where I keep all the stuff that I use for making the printing plates and I also keep the inks for printing them. So I'm going to print this little collagraph plate of a globe flower. It's made from cardboard and I've used gesso and wood glue to make the different textures. I sealed it with shellac, that's what gives it the golden colour, and I'm now applying oil-based inks. I tend to put it on with my fingers because it helps me feel all the indentations of the plate. And also it stops me damaging the plate because they're quite delicate because they're made from collage materials. So where you have rough textures you get a dark tone when it's printed and where you've created smoother textures that wipes nice and clean and becomes a light area. So first I'm applying this sepia and then I'm going to wipe that back and apply the colours. So I put a little bit of green on the stem and now I'm putting the yellow onto the flower. And I'm putting it on with cotton buds because it's quite a small area to work in. And I don't want the um, sepia to get wiped into the yellow. So just finishing wiping the flower with a little bit of tissue and that should be enough I think. It's ready to print. I've had a piece of paper soaking in between this plastic Oops. and then I just need a bit of blotting paper to take the excess off. And damp paper makes it nice and soft so it gets pushed into the indentations of the plate better. If you use dry paper it's too stiff and you won't get all the detail. So that's ready. So on the press put down a piece of tissue to protect the press bed and then I'll carefully carry over my printing plate. in position. There we go. And now I'm going to lay my bit of paper over the top. You need to have good clean hands because otherwise you get finger marks all over it. And I'll lay that over the top. And I usually put some tissue on just to protect the blankets in case we get any ink coming out also stops them getting too wet. Put the blankets over the top. These are wall blankets and help squash the paper into the indentations of the plate. And then we wind it through. As it hits the plate, it should feel a nice bit of pressure. Nice and smooth. 
And this is the reason that all printmakers keep on printing. It's the big reveal. So I take off my tissue paper and you can see how it's embossed on the back from all that pressure. And then peel up a corner. Should be able to see. And there we have it. So here we have a collagraph plate printed a la poupée in colour and printed on an etching press.